So today we're going to make a little autumn leaf drawing and it's going to be metallic because you have some gold. So we're first going to, the first thing you're going to need is a pencil. So if you want to grab a pencil, in addition to the pencil and the kit, what you're going to need is a paper towel and a little thing of water. So once you have your pencil, what we're going to do is we're going to draw two leaves. And now when we draw them, they're going to be pretty simple and then we'll add detail later. So the first thing to make my leaf is I'm going to make a slightly curved line. We're gonna make two leaves, a slightly curved line. And these leaves are gonna be really simple. So I'm gonna start at the top and make like almost half a teardrop. And then the other side, I'll do the same thing, half a teardrop. This way, I'm gonna flip it. So I, this one, next one, same thing, line, half a teardrop, and then half a teardrop. Beautiful. So the lines aren't going to be smooth like this. When we add our detail, we're going to make it a little rigged, rugged, a little raggedy. Um, so what you're going to need next is I'm going to keep my background simple. I am just going to use my bigger brush and I am going to put, I'm going to do a little white just all over the background. If you also want to pick one color and do a little accents of that color, that's fine too. I'm going right over my lines too, for the most part, because you'll see them. I think I'm gonna put a little bit of gray into it. So I'm gonna make a little gray on my plate. And maybe put some gray into the background. So you're gonna fill the whole background. So once we're done with the background, now we're gonna focus on our leaves. And now our leaves, I only gave you the warm colors, so I gave you red and um, yellow, and then we're going to make them, I'm gonna paint them yellow and then we'll add some red. So I'm gonna start with the one first, and I'm gonna paint it yellow, and as I add the yellow, I'm just gonna add a little white because it's a little vibrant. If you go a little out of the lines, that's fine. and you should only be using a teeny amount of paint, and I'm still using that bigger brush. So once I have that yellow, then I'm gonna experiment a little. So I'm gonna put a little red on my brush. I'm not even gonna clean out my brush, and I'm gonna just add a little red to the, one of the areas. Actually, maybe two little areas, then I'm gonna clean out my brush. Blend with a little yellow. I'm taking like short little strokes to blend. I wanna give my leaf a little texture. Do the same thing on the other side. I'm gonna wash out my brush because I don't want the orange to get all the way down, but then I'm just gonna spread that. So I have some oranges and yellows. At this point, if you want to take a little bit of your gold and you could like blend it in a little bit. So then I have my yellow, my orange, a little gold. You'll really tell that it's metallic at the end of this. So I like that one. So for the next one, I'm gonna start with red. So I'm gonna start with red. On, I'm gonna do like the top half red. My 
my red's almost like a pinky. It's mixing with that white a little. So then on my plate, I'm actually gonna make a little orange. So I'm gonna take a bunch of yellow and mix it with a teeny bit of red. And then I'm gonna paint the remaining part of my leaf with that orange. As I get down further, I'm gonna lighten my orange. It's almost like a creamsicle color. So the leaves you could basically do any way that you want. You can make them, if you wanna do both yellows, you could do that. It's just this a whole thing is about like mixing. And I'm just taking short strokes, especially towards the edge so I get like a little, so it looks a little ragged. You can't tell my color that well, but it's red into orange. Then I'm gonna take some of that gold and towards the bottom part, I'm just gonna mix some of that gold in. And you could really see the metallic when it dries. And I wanna make that top a little less pink. So I think I might put some yellow in there to balance it out. And I'm taking those short strokes just to get a little texture. darker orange in my first leaf too. Alright, so I have my leaves done. I'm gonna let this dry for a couple minutes and then we'll come back and start adding our detail. For the next part I kind of brought in the camera to give you a little closer look. We are gonna use our small brush and we're gonna add lots of little tiny details. So the first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna mix some black and a little bit of gold on my plate. And that's what we're pretty much gonna outline everything with. Just be sometimes black just straight out is a little harsh against like the white background. So I just tamed it down a little with a little brown. So what we're gonna do is the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my time and I am a little paint goes a long way. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna outline my leaf. As I outline my leaf, I want to like keep that, those ridges. If you paint it outside your lines, that's great. And when the key to doing this is a little paint goes a long way. If you find your paintbrush is getting too like dry, put a little water on it, and then you can put a little more paint on it. All right. So then once you get your outline, I'm gonna do my center little line. And the lighter your touch is, the easier it's gonna be to get a nice line. All right, so I wanna make this part of, I'm gonna call it the stem of the leaf, a little bigger because that's where it meets the tree. So I'm just gonna go back and add a little thickness. All right, so once I add thickness, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wet my brush again, put a little more paint on it. I'm gonna to start to make some lines that connect my stem to my outside of my leaf. And I'm just making simple lines right now. A little paint goes a long way. And then I'm gonna do it on the other side. I'm just making sure they don't start at the same place. So 
detail the lines in a leaf are never this perfect. So what you could start, so the lines of the root of a leaf are almost like a root system of a tree. So there's lots or branches of a tree too. There's lots of little lines coming off. So I'm just gonna put every couple of them, I'm just gonna put little lines coming off. And then we have our first leaf. So then I'm gonna just, just because I did that one like that, I'm gonna do the same one, same thing on the other side. So I'm gonna start by outlining. And water at this point could be an enemy or a friend. Sometimes I put a little water with the paint just so it's, the, sometimes the more water that's in the paint, the easier it is to like outline something. But you could easily get to a point where you put too much water and then you can't outline anything. So sometimes if the paint feels a little dry, I'll just put, oh, I ran into some yellow paint. I'll just put a little water on my brush. Gonna do that center line. Just trying to do it in one, one swoop. I'm gonna go back and make this a little thicker. And then I'm gonna make those diagonal lines. And I'm gonna go back and add a little there we have our second leaf. So at this point we have like a little cute little leaf painting. What you could do if you want to even add more metallics is you could take a little of that gold and you could add just some to the edge with your bigger brush. Go all up and down. You could even add, start like you could outline a little in the metallics too. Go over your black outline a little bit. But I'm gonna leave you at this point. I'm just gonna sign my little artwork over here. And I hope you had fun doing this easy little color mixing autumn leaf project. All right guys, hope you have a good time. Happy fall.